judgeth all things. Or you can say discern all things. Yet he himself is judge of no man. But we have to understand the spirit judge him. 16 verse. For who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. And now remember the, in, in, uh, originally the Bible was in a scroll. So there was no chapter and verse designation. Chapter and verse designation came many years afterwards. Some bishop that we don't know if he was filled with the Holy Ghost or not uh, inserted chapters and verse so that you could better locate uh, specific passages in the Bible. But ministers but by whom he believed, even as the Lord gave to every man. Now, the sixth verse is where we'll put a period on this. I have planted, Apollos have watered, but God gave the increase. So the increase come from whom? Okay, but how do we get to the place where we're experiencing the increase from God? You have to understand the process. You have to understand 
the process of teaching. You have to understand the process of learning. You have to understand the process of getting it. You, are, you could sit in a church and you will never get it if you don't understand the kingdom process of getting it to you. What did I say? It's a kingdom process, amen? And it's facilitated by who? The Holy Ghost. Look at this real quickly. We just read it. See, once you grasp this, you're going to understand how the kingdom works in terms of God communicating to you and getting you to, un to, to get what he wants you to get. The 10th verse, second chapter, said, but God what? Hath what? Hath what? Hath what? Reveal them unto us by what? His spirit. So what we need to become acquainted with really strongly is not our intellect. It's not how bright we are. It's not how educated we are. But the spirit. The same thing E.W. Kenyon said, there's two kinds of knowledge. There's sense knowledge and there's revealed knowledge. Many of us, we master on sense knowledge and sense knowledge is not going to get you into the chambers of God. The only way you're going to learn about God is through revealed knowledge. And you can't get revealed knowledge if you are not walking and being navigated by the Spirit. Amen. Are you following me today? So don't try to just hear what I'm saying. Tap the Spirit. Don't try to process through the finiteness of your mind the words, the terminologies, the phraseologies. But tap the Spirit. Somebody say the Spirit. The Spirit. So you hear me, but you hear the Holy Ghost. That's how you grow up in the kingdom. Let me take you to that next text. We're going to come back and we're going to kind of break this text down. But I want to take you back, take you to my second text. Got my secondary text coming from the book of Mark. In this Bible study. So we're talking about growing up in the kingdom. Amen. What time is it? It's 4.30. What's 4.30? 4.30 is Mark 4 and 30. That's the best way I've got to remember. Glory to God. Mark 4.30. And he said, Where on to shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or with what comparison shall we compare it? Now, I mean, I mean, you got my eyes, my eyes bucked and you got my ears perked. You said, well, How do I compare the kingdom? Because I want to know about the kingdom. The Bible said the kingdom is righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. Are oh, you hearing me today? Kingdom of God is within you. Uh, the kingdom of God is at hand. And so I want to know about this kingdom. Do you want to know about this kingdom? Give God a great big hand of applause. Do you want to know about this kingdom? The Bible said in the last day, 24th chapter of Matthew, that uh, kingdom shall rise against kingdom. And so we got to understand the kingdom. The kingdom of Christ, the kingdom of the anointed one, and how to function within it, because that's how the devils are going to mind you. That's how sickness is going to respond to you and, and be in compliance. That's how your circumstance, see sometimes you all are praying when you ought to be saying. 